Hello, my name is Walter, and welcome back to Samurai Jack Season 5, Episode 1. Uh, now, just before I start, a little bit of history. Um, so, back in 2014, I was actually suffering a bit uh, from depression um, because I I went through something horrible uh, after right after graduation. So I just had to deal with a lot of stuff. And Samurai Jack is one of the best animated series to have come to me because I remember watching it as a kid, don't get me wrong, but um, you know, growing up and you know, having lost sight of uh, who I was and you know, trying to, to get back to that, um, I had to watch a lot of uh, the old shows that I didn't get to watch when I was a kid. Uh, so Samurai Jack was first and then it was uh, Avatar The Last Ember in there. And then, uh, uh, you know, it transformed from all that. And then, you know, people suggested me shows that I could watch as well, and that really lifted my spirits, and uh, that led me into movies as well. So, I just have to say that Samurai Jack is one of the best things to happen to my life, and I'm really glad it's, it's back. Um, unfortunately, though, it does not really have a title. It's uh, Roman numerals. I'm quite bad at uh, Roman numerals, but I, I. Well, I only mostly know and uh, until X, which is ten. Uh, so I only know it's like if it's two X's, it's twenty. Uh, but this episode is called XC11, which is I think it's the fifty-second episode. So anyway, without further ado, let's go. Oh no, opening music. Um, no opening title as well. Oh, that's a bomb. <laughs> Let me bring down the. The uh, volume, cause it's pretty. It was pretty loud. Well, I mean, this the episode hasn't started yet, but it was pretty loud. These are the scarabs uh, from the older episodes, and I actually saw a sneak peek of this a little bit. I love you. It says, "Oh, that's nice. I I really like that. Uh, you know, the whole alien with." the uh, electric thing that's really cool um, and yeah uh, this this time is uh, is a little more 18 it's a question <laughs> it's a question mark uh, I love this kind of visual stuff like you don't really need that much of dialogue um, and anyway I was talking I was talking about um, how this series is going to be more adult hence uh, it being on adult swim and uh, get it started of Kofsky is back on this series and I and you really can tell because he he, he said himself like he wanted to end it uh, appropriately but I think you know it all comes down to um, how certain people feel like they're tired of something real fast and that's not because you know they're they're bored of their own work it's because I think at some point you have to be like okay maybe I can take a break from this do something else, do something fresh, um, and that's one of the things that I can tell by this first episode as well, uh, that they really uh, changed up the style, um, but still kept some of the old stuff in, and that's really something to be admired. Um, and I really love uh, his kind of animation as well, because uh, he has a, 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 an, a love, I think, for all animes, Japanese style of animation, which is uh, also Avatar, The Last Unbrenner. Um So that's one of the things that I loved about uh, Samurai Jack and Avatar, The Last Emperor, is that they got uh, the Asian kind of uh, uh, art um, down, and they really learn it, and it's really cool. I'm just so proud to, to watch this. Uh, as it comes back, man. Oh, I'm so happy. It's Jack. Yeah, okay, okay, they know who he is. Oh, they, it was Jack question mark though. Oh, okay, so that must mean he he's kind of like a legend, uh, kind of like a myth kind of thing. Oh, that's really cool. Um, so I, 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 okay, this is still the oil spill. I thought I, when I saw the um, uh, uh, sneak peek, it did look a bit like uh, blood, but I think it's just the inside as well, which is also an homage to the old series. 
thank you. Aww, okay, nice. Ah, oh, I love that setting sun. Oh my god, the space. I, I remember uh, one of the best sequences for me was uh, the birth of evil, which was so beautiful. There was no dialogue until maybe like the final third. And then you could see, okay, that's Aku. Um, and you could see the blimp of Aku, like a small blob of Aku, and then he, it grows and grows and grows, and then the, the gods try to shoot it down, but it keeps growing because it keeps multiplying uh, in that biology way. What happened to his sword though? A lot of people are saying that he lost his sword, but I just think that he maybe he's keeping it to himself. Oh, that's, that's a really nice um, title, title screen though. I like it. Okay, I think they they got uh, they got rid of the um, narration scene, uh, which is always the start to the um, uh, the series, um, and that's all right because I think uh, in a way is is telling us that it's uh, modern but not too modern that it's uh, out of which we we don't remember anymore. Uh, and yeah, a lot of people were talking about uh, how uh, the um, well, it's it sounds a lot <coughs> like Grady Lyle, but um, I saw the 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 early credits, and it said uh, Tara Strong. So I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe I'll have to wait until the credit sequence to see who voices uh, her because it really sounds like Grady Lyle because I remember Azula's voice and. That really just sounds like um, Azula, uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, no worries about that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, yeah. As I said earlier, uh, a lot of people were talking about how uh, Great Elan slash Tara Strong is kind of like a the cult leader, uh, and there is a cult now to Aku because Aku is the, the all omnipresent. Uh, omniscient, uh, all-knowing, all-seeing uh, demon, uh, so it would it would definitely make sense why there is a cult. Uh, oh, there there is a Buddha statue. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, a lot of um, episodes have a heavy lean to Buddhism as well. Uh, especially, I remember watching the episode with uh, him uh, getting infected by a little Aku germ and uh, him turning into Aku kind of and they brought in like this mystic water to heal him uh, but it couldn't be really done because Jack also needed to fight the demon within him kind of thing and that was really interesting because that was uh, essentially bringing in some of the Buddhist Taoist aspects, which is um, essentially the uh, prayers, which uh, exer exer is supposed to exercise the demon out of you. Um, so yeah, and you could see that the frog, the frog lizard people having beads and all that. That's a classic Buddhist Taoist. Um, uh, ornament because that is uh, actually to count uh, the number of uh, deeds or uh, the number of um, good uh, deeds that you've done and also it's a, a chanting mechanism so it's you know you know how many times you've chanted it because it's also a calculating thing so man I'm just so taken aback by the whole visuals and everything it's just so good. They've they've really upped the game. Like, not to take anything away from the old series, but the old series I think was a little bit uh, uh, stifled by the technology at the time, and this just looks so much better. Like, it's it still has the old paint kind of look, but it's more computerized as well. So it's really interesting. And I'm really, oh my god, he's having like haunts about his past and everything. Uh, as, uh, uh, and was I was talking about actually the whole art of things and I'm really ha happy and excited to talk about these things because uh, this is Asian style as well and being an Asian is really, 
I would I want I want to say a really proud thing for me to talk about this. Ah, uh, bro. <laughs> hmm. Oh, poor chat. Oh, okay. Here, here comes the more PG R rating kind of thing. Cause this w won't fly. This wouldn't have flown in uh, Cartoon Network. Uh, like this whole zombie thing. Oh wow, what is this? Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. I, I'm, I'm geeking out right now. <laughs> I'm totally geeking out right now. Uh, that smoke in the distance as well oh this owl look at that oh. Woo. so good I am so excited man I, you guys don't even know like I've waited for the end of this I, I mean not really the end of it but I just really wanted to wanted to wrap up and we, we were supposed to actually have a movie about uh, Chuck but it got pushed back as well and I think now they're not gonna have a movie uh, so it's just gonna have be this uh, final season which is only 10 seasons uh, which is only 10 episodes I'm sorry this is some um, dark imagery man mm. yeah that's true yeah I remember uh, he had a few solid uh, a few solid chances to get back to the past. I think the strongest one was when he came across like this Stargate, which he had to fight uh, these guys with with the like uh, goggles and everything. And he did really good, but in the end he didn't he didn't he didn't he didn't fight like he didn't win. So he he couldn't he didn't pass the test essentially. So he couldn't go back. Uh, in this time, but that that for me was the the best uh, possibility of him going back to the past. And this motorbike is really cool. Like, I I'm really surprised that uh, he's managed to adapt to the future so well and uh, assimilate uh, into its uh, surroundings. Uh, it's not that it's impossible. It's just that uh, it's really cool to see him do this because in the past he was more about you know I should uh, keep my tradition because it's uh, to me but any person uh, who knows history as well is gonna tell you that you you need to progress you need to you can still keep your traditions but you need to learn how to move forward and use the technology to your advantage Is she gonna be like the the whole chosen one thing? I, I, if so, you know that's just gonna be a minor flaw for me. Oh, okay, I get I get it though, but well, I mean, okay. <laughs> that's true. I mean, well, devastation to you. Ah, the daughters of Haku. Well then, who was his wife though? That's that's my question. That's just oh my god. That's just that's just cruel, man. I I I I really want to know. Oh. The weak have no place for a coup. What the hell? Anyway, I was I was gonna say like I I I really need to see who this um, uh, who this voice actress is because her voice is really disturbing me. Cause I don't know I don't really know who it is. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh my God. Okay, Aku Aku has stepped up his game because, if you remember, he just employed assassins, uh, 
He just employed bounty hunters. He just employed uh, people who he thought could do the job. But Samurai Jack has been trained in so many ways that uh, he that uh, Aku couldn't really uh, fight Jack off with his own uh, like bounty hunter assassin crew thing. So it's really interesting to see a cult uh, that is Aku's daughters most probably and see how he's like kind of forced them but also kind of brainwashed them to do this kind of thing and see them train and prepare for Samurai Jack and that's really interesting to see because uh, we wouldn't have seen that in the past and that's something new and I hope is uh, the whole storyline well I think it's definitely gonna be that <laughs> Samurai Jack. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and ruggedness, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, good to see they're still keeping uh, his humor in. Because. Uh, what of things that Samurai Jack has was humor, even though it was more serious and more artistic and more, um, you know, deep in a kind of way. Uh, it was also good to see uh, humor. <laughs> the world famous scour. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't see it at all. Did you though? Oh, okay, we, we we get to see. Oh. What? Oh, dude, that's so sad. Though I just thought he lost it in a fight or something. But he kind of he, he kind of dropped it, which is more sad. Oh, and there's cell phones. What? Hello? There's there's definitely a different note. <laughs> nice quarters, babe. And anyway, I was just gonna say um, that he he dropped it, and that's one of the things that. I, is so essential to check because that is his sword, that is his image. And uh, as I was saying about um, Aku's voice, you know, Ak Aku's voice is something of Mako's creation, and you can definitely know when it's Mako. And I think for me, uh, in Avatar The Last Armbrenner, uh, we didn't really notice uh, it because I think Greg uh, was still very close to Mako, so I think he still got it. Uh, but I think as time passed, I think he kind of forgot it. I think he kind of like didn't really practice it. So it was a bit obvious in Korra, but I think it's getting more obvious here in Samurai Jack. <laughs> oh man, this guy. <laughs> Okay, the vid's lagging a bit, but I think that's also uh, uh, an appropriation for the uh, for the fight sequences. Oh man, his psyche is getting to him. <laughs> yeah, he has gone cuckoo cuckoo. <laughs> it's like some man makes you road here. I think his sword is calling to him. Like that's my that's my inkling. That's my theory. Uh, <laughs> his face just got smashed by a rock by this flute guy. Uh, really reminds me of um, the Pipe Piper from uh, Shrek Four, which was the only good thing to come out of Shrek Four. To be honest with you guys. Uh, and I really like the the how he can control the things and people with his pipe. So <laughs> who 
who even are you, man? Like, I, I'm sorry, I totally forgot your name. I'm just gonna call you Robot with a with a hat guy, and also heels for some reason. <laughs> He's totally wearing heels. I just noticed that. Okay, his his scanning is what is controlling his uh, knife. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. That's that is awesome, man. His his fight sequences, man. It always always impresses me. See, he's wearing uh, he's wearing heels. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh oh oh! Shit, man. I, I I I'm more than impressed. Oh shit! Physics, <laughs> physics, the resonance fork, right? Tuning fork. Sorry, tuning fork. Hmm. Right? How are you gonna defeat that, Jack? Oh man. It's gonna burst again. <laughs> oh wow. That's French for your dead, babe. No, it's not. Oh! Burn! No, blown! Literally. <laughs> Has he forgotten how to. <laughs> Has he forgotten how to carry a sword though? Well, maybe it's heavy. Oh! <laughs> Man, it would have been so funny if he he, uh, he did a little Looney Tunes as well, like blah 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 blah, that's all folks, this kind of thing, but I guess, you know, that wouldn't have been anything that Jack wouldn't know <laughs> and what he said was more to him so I guess that fit <laughs> oh man these girls are crazy and they look like they have human faces too which is really surprising to me because I just well I saw the sneak previews with these uh, with the girls with the human faces as well but I just I just didn't really read that deep into it, and I thought that it's just a design or something. But that, it's it's really real, so I'm thinking that uh, he had well, Aku had um, uh, a human girl that you know worshipped and everything, and was close to him, and uh, you know was pregnant with them. So, and that's definitely the the you know. The one in the opening. Mm -hmm. To kill Samurai, right? Yeah. Well, I thought they were going to say to kill Samurai Jack, but it was more to kill the Samurai. And that was it? Oh man, that's nice though, the ending with uh, his eyes. Oh, uh, wait. Okay, I just want to see the um, the cast here check 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 uh, the check check oh, I missed that okay high priestess ah oh, I'm right Grey Gif Grey Griffin uh oh S Scaramouche Tom Caddy the the guy who did the the um, uh, scatting of course I kind of knew that as well um yeah Kuz Greg I said that uh yeah okay that's that's all folks <laughs> uh what a return though what a return i'm 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 so happy that it's come back and you know we get to see a modernized version of uh samurai jack and it's just so interesting that this take is so much better i i don't want to say better because Samurai Jack, the original version was already good enough, and it's just nice to see it back and in a newer kind of environment. I want to say, 
but also to keep some of the elements that we all know and kind of want to keep finding out and I think I'm going to draw comparisons with Heroes Reborn here because Heroes did the same thing and but the difference between Heroes and Heroes Reborn is Heroes had a really good um, thing had a really good concept had a really, had, a really good, had a really good plot but it just went you know round and round in circles and didn't know how to get out of that and Heroes Reborn you know just fell apart like they didn't know their own thing anymore whereas in Samurai Jack he still knows his own mythos he still knows that you know Samurai Jack has to adapt to this new world that he's in so it's really nice to see and I hope we get to see the, the Conjurers because I remember in the old episode Conjurers was uh, him being a traditionist in a technological world that's why you see the buildings and all of that in the background and this one he's more technological but the background is more nature and traditional so that's a really good contrast and that's a bring back to the original as well it's just a reverse of it so that's uh, that's about it guys and i will see you in the next episode which i'm really excited about so stay tuned